Well, there you can see the Romanian Barbarian. I just made that up. His real nickname, Ufidin, or Wolf Warrior. Very cool. Alexandra Bublia, 32-year-old fighter from Timi Suara from Romania, a beautiful city. I highly recommend you go there. 181 centimeters tall. This fight taking place at 72 kilograms. His record, 95 fights, 66 wins, 28 losses. He's an English champion in K1. He's an English champion in Muay Thai. He's a world champion in K1, IMTKA. He's got all kinds of accolades to his name. One of his heroes growing up was Sayo, and now he's tasked with fighting him. He told us before the fight, he's honored. And there you can see Sayo Pumpan Muang, 37 year old from Thailand, 173 centimeters tall, 318 fights, 267 victories with 49 losses and two draws. He is a former Rajanandan super lightweight champion around 2017, champion of Thailand and the welterweight division around 2008. Lumpini Stadium super welterweight champion, which is 154 pounds, around 70 kilograms. In 2010, World Muay Thai champion in 2012. That was a junior middleweight. And here at Thai Fight, he was the Isuzu Cup super fight champion and also the Thai Fight champion, both in 2014. Well, now, good thing that white crew is nice and long, so you could get through that list of accolades. <laughs> Now, Bublia has fought at Thai Fight before in London in 2016, and on that night he fought PTT, and he fought him to a decision. On that card, Sayok lost. Do so you think he's seen a chink in his armor? Well, I'm just saying, maybe. The curse of the Brit slash Romanians would strike again. Sayok Pumpam Mawang from Thailand in the black corner. Alexandro Bublia from Romania in the white corner. He's no stranger to Muay Thai. He started training at age 11 and was training with Jonathan Haggerty in London. Yeah, well, shout out to the uh, Nosley Academy. It's always a weird thing when you grow up to fight your heroes. We'll see what happens. Left high kick from Sayo. He looks in great shape, Adam. He really does. Been away from Thai fight for around two years. Here come a flurry of punches there from Sayo. Pump up and a swing in left. And then a spinning right hook. I was going to say, if you can defeat your opponent by a spinning back kick, just like Sayok attempted there, you win a 100,000 baht bonus. Trying to get himself a summer home. <laughs> In Karat, perhaps. <laughs> Beautiful fast start there from Sayok. He's training now out of Satyan Muay Thai. It was a fast start for him his last time out as well. Ended the fight early. Shovel up got there from Sayok. But Blia, no slouch though, he has trained at Banchimek Gym, training with Superborn and Buakar. I'm sure there were some hard sparring sessions. He looks bigger, to be honest. Oh, he's definitely taller. But at Thai fight, we've seen Sayok fight around 74 and 75 kilograms, so 672 just, just shows what shape he's getting himself into these days. Had a break from Thai fight around two years. Maybe he was just burnt out because he's come back and he looks fresh. Looks like he's been training hard. Looks hungry. Looks like hungry. Just fighting wise and also just physically. Good solid right knee there from Bullock Blea. Back to the center of the ring they go. Sayak with that left kick. Push kick there from the taller Romanian fighter. Looking for that trademark left elbow is Sayok. Oh, got a right hand in there as well. Sable Blea taking these shots though. Taking them well. I know he's fought on Max Muay Thai a few times. Very tough fighter. Very durable. As you can see already, as he's taken a lot of shots from Sayuk. And don't forget, card check, ladies and gentlemen. Those rope hands. A lot different than gloves. Less protection and more damage. That's what he's got the beard for. It's a good idea. Again, I like the way he's trying to use those rangy knees. Sayok trying to tick that left hand into the stern of the body. Yeah, every of time Sayok's trying to close that distance, Bublia's trying to make him pay. Nice low, low kick, outside low kick. And then a body shot there, changing levels from Bublia. 
It's been a really good back and forth round, Aaron. It really has. Good left body shot there from Sayuk. If you can just keep the, the pace going, we know Sayuk's 37 years old now and he's been in a lot of battles. Yeah, I was honestly wondering about that last time Sayo came out and he seemed like he was in a real rush to finish the fight, and he did. We're gonna see him go at least to round two, and we'll see what that looks like. Let's take a look at some of those highlights from the first round. That was that initial rush from Sayo, connected with the right hand as well, probably trying to get Bublea out of there early, but Bublea's tough. See a nice knee to the body there as well. I really think that could be a path to victory for Bublia. The knees to the body yeah. as Sayo pushes forward. Something Borkow and Superbon are very apt at. Super famous for, for that technique. Those, worth, those straight dagger knees to the body. I think it's worth a mention as well that Bublia is now training out of PK Sanchai Muay Thai Gym. And Sentatan is in the corner of Bublia giving him instructions. Yeah, you don't, oh! you right don't see that very often. You don't, it was no, really no, no. interesting to see that in between rounds, Aaron. Nice Sayo. right kick to the body from Bublea, but a nice left hand from Sayo. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh! Oh my goodness. That was Boy Moran technique. That looked like, like Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Get over here. Something Tony Jaa would have been proud of. What a menacing technique that was from Sayo. Looks great on the television. I was going to say before the end of the first round, but Lee can stay with this and take Sayok deep into the third round, or the second and third round, then he's definitely going to tire. His age will show. He's going to call it now. Oh, I think that's a bit harsh. I'd like to see that one again. But I feel like it was more of a slip or an off balance trip. But Blea back onto his feet. I mean, he's got to look for those knees again, Adam. Especially with Sayo being aggressive like that. You know what? Close in the yeah, distance. All you got to do is put that straight knee out there, and Sayo will walk himself right onto it. Easy said than good. <laughs> but exactly. Sayo wants to close the distance so he can throw that vicious left hand and then follow it up with the left elbow. Beautiful That's it, use the range, why not? Frustration on Sayok's face almost. Good job from Alex. Oh, nice push kick again. There's an attempt at that knee, didn't quite come off, but that's what you were calling for, Aaron. It was definitely a technique he could find some success with. I don't think this is where he wants to be. Inside the clinch with Sayo. Nice left hand to the body from Sayo. And I don't really think that Sayo's lost a bit of pace. I really do. Oh, That's for a bit sure. Low. Since the first round, the opening exchanges at least. Right body shot, left hook there from Sayo. But again, Bublia just takes it. Really is a tough cookie. Sayo really going. Nice the left side. Sayo hunting down the wolf. Looking for an elbow from Sayo. Nice defense there in the clinch from Sayo as well. Good knee. And a good right high kick as well. And before Sayo can throw the elbow, the Blia moves forward and grabs a hold of him. Another great round. Back and forth action in that second round. There you can see some of those beautiful hooks to the body. Sayo through, followed by an overhand left. And again to the body with the right hand is Sayo. But a beautiful knee. Sayo did not like those knees. We were talking about it during the second round, Aaron. Just slowing down. Not necessarily due to the striking of Bublea, but just because he's 37 years old, he's going to slow down. You almost feel like the longer this fight goes, the more it favors Bublea. If it, if Bublea would be looking for a fourth and fifth round. <laughs> oh, nice. 
right hand, almost hit the back of the head there. It's a bit, it's a bit loud, but sense of time with Saints. Alex, go for it now. Well, it almost looked like he was saying, throw the combinations like I do. What, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. He was showing him that one, two, three. And I don't think Bublea quite has the same uh, boxing technique that Sensatarn has, but it was a nice thought. It's been a really close fight, Aaron. I'm not quite sure how to score it. Well, if that was a knockdown, was that the second round or first? Yeah, that was yeah. that was tough. So that that basically gives Sayak the round, even though it was a really close round outside of that. Good left kick there from Bablia using footwork. Looking for the left right kick. Again, headhunting with that left high kick. I, I love that so much. Even though it doesn't do anything, it looks so it looks so menacing. Good body shot there from Bubli. I like that. To be fair, so, he seems like he's slowing down a bit as well here in the third round. Sayat looking for an elbow there. If they scored that a knockdown in the second round, then Bublea really needs a knockdown here in the third to get back in this fight. I think just to go the distance with Sayak is creating itself. But you can see how tired Sayak is. He's backing up, which you don't often see. Closing stages now in this third and final round. Oh my. Don't know if that was for the crowd or for himself, just to prove that he could do it. The player looking to go up high. Is there one last thing with the tail? One final shot? Are we going to go to the judges? Difficult to hit in this third round. Yeah, I think Sayop's kind of just accepted that he's going to win this fight as long as he doesn't get himself into trouble. So I think he's actually been, as far as what we've seen from him, Aaron, almost reluctant to engage, almost playing it safe in that oh, third round. And, yeah, I think that's respect to Bublé. He realized that by probably the end of the second round, he wasn't going to knock him out. So he's just trying to uh, hold on for the victory. Yeah. We'll see. Coming up shortly with our judges' scorecards coming in. For the first time tonight? Yeah. So let's see what the judges have to say. Let's take a look at those highlights from the third round. Oh, from the whole fight, indeed. Was that the knockdown? Oh, I think it yeah, was. I, mean, no, I, I, I didn't, didn't see much there either. It looked like he just came in too close with the knee to the body and just fell backwards. Oh, millimeters away from connecting with that elbow. To be fair though, even without that knockdown, which we don't necessarily agree with, I'm not sure Bublea would have won this fight. Yeah, the majority of the attacking strikes were coming from Sayo, but fair play to Bublea for putting on a great show. I go in the distance. The winner is Pusana Dai Kai Kao Lu Dam Kap Kai Kap Fai Kao Lu Fai Dam Kap So Sayi Mang Mang Kao Lu Dam Kap Lumot Kao Lu Dam Kap Oh Mi Kao Mi Dam Kap Lap Pusana Dai Kap Kao Kao Sayo Kung Ma Bun Bom Dai Le Shirt Just Edited On The Scorecards With That Knockdown Congratulations To Sayo Pung Pang Mawai